talk about your Bitcoin uh, theme here. Let's go to, first of all, COIM, because that's also another relatively new IPO and is having a great week. Yeah, this this I actually bought yesterday. And maybe if you go to the daily, sure. I thought it, it was tightening up. And then I saw some of these, some of the uh, the other Bitcoin stocks starting to move. And I bought some and then <laughs> then I was down on the day. And then after hours, I saw the thing jump up a couple of points. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, well, it's, it'll probably be a good day. And then it just kept on going overnight because I guess, the, you know, the Bitcoin you can watch all day and all night. <laughs> this, <laughs> right, it's the only, yeah, it's, it, there are not that many things that trade all day long, you know, all day long and all night long. I am buying this strictly technically. I saw it was tightening up. I still don't understand Bitcoin. I don't know how someone can just program a currency and everybody buys it. I just don't understand the whole thing. I'm just buying this strictly off the chart, the, 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 the you know, it tightening up and, and the other, you know, other uh, uh, parts of the Bitcoin universe starting to take off. So I, the, to me, I'm, I'm very lucky that I bought it. I actually bought a tiny bit more added to it because these things, I mean, look at the move that that thing made back in June and July. I mean, it went from 60 oh, to yeah. 100. So it, it, that's, that's sort of the markets we've been in in the last couple of years. The speculation just goes crazy. Um, but, I, but again, to say that I, where I do much better is where I really understand the company and I get to know it. And I'm just wondering whether you know, younger, uh, newer generations of traders are more interested in something that's going to be moving more fast, like, like GBTC or, or Bitto. So let's, let's bring Bitto here. If it goes up, people will be interested in it. <laughs> Every, everybody will want to be in it if it's yeah, going I mean, up yeah but that's the thing it's like you know it's like yeah if it's as long as it's speculative juice is there and there's a lot of buzz there's going to be a spot etf but ultimately that just means it's another way to buy it it feels like there's other there's already ways to buy bitcoin in various ways even on the stock market i really have no idea why mstr i don't get it and it's like okay why you would buy that as opposed to bitcoin because it was one thing when there weren't etfs or other things but it's like MicroStrategy, it basically buys Bitcoin. I, I don't get, okay. Right. I mean, I, I don't need somebody else to buy it for me. So I'm not sure why that, I mean, it's going to go up because it has the Bitcoin, it has a valuation. I just don't, I don't understand its real specific thing, but that's fine. I mean, is, is, is that one's even stranger than the, than the Bitcoin thing. It's like buying a company that just buys Bitcoin. That's all they do at this point. Well, the CEO, right? I mean, he he got oh, yeah. out a lot of media attention for sure, sure. you know go, going into this really radical strategy, uh, despite having a, a a really viable, durable business. You can see the monthly chart here, Ed. Uh, the stock has been around a long time. Uh, a lot more stock history in this uh, before before it became a major oh, yeah. owner. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, you can see just that meme stock and Bitcoin craze. Uh, maybe this is stage two, because I think there was a, a prior big move in Bitcoin and then a crash. Uh, I heard stories uh, around town about people like wondering, should they sell their Bitcoin now because it's fallen 70, 80, 90 percent? And uh, many of them consider selling off the low. And then you have this another big move. And now we have another uh, uh, more, slower move for sure, but still uh Making making some trade opportunities. Let's look at MARA. So, uh, actually, Dave, why don't why don't you do a comparison chart between GLD and BITO and start it at twenty at the beginning of uh, two thousand twenty two? I I like that idea. Let me let me get that started here. I've got to open up another window. Thank you for that, Chris. And uh, let me put that in. Let's see. So GLD. And you want to start it at the beginning of 2022? Essentially the beginning of the bear market. Yeah, makes sense. All right. I see you're, I see you're playing devil's advocate here. I, I, I see what you're getting at here. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the chart. Uh, Bitco, uh, Bito still uh, over nearly two years, definitely underperforming. What do you think, Chris? Right. So, I, I mean, it's on a run now and it's running faster than gold. Neither have really done much for anyone if you were using it as a, uh, you know, place to hide. I mean, at least gold right. has, has gone sideways. Uh, and, you know, to, to Ed's point, what he said, and I really believe this, that, you know, 
if Bitcoin truly becomes a, a currency, no one's going to be interested in it because how many of us actively trade currencies? Who's who's made any uh, currency trades this year? I mean, yeah, when it comes to right. thing that everybody says it'll be that the fans say it'll become, the fans won't want to be anything part of it. Right. When it when it truly becomes institutionalized, uh, you're a bank, you're an exporter, you're an importer, <laughs> you're a big corporation. Well, that 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 uh, that's going to definitely shift the dynamics there. But and, in the meantime, if you're if you want to trade it, uh, I think obviously there's uh, big moves to be made. Mm hmm. Let me let me change the date here, if you guys don't mind, sure. to Halloween of last year, because that was when we had the start of of a nice run, and this kind of proves our point that yes, uh, Bitcoin has definitely a lot more speculative fever. Uh, gold GLD up twenty percent since the end of the well, shall we say the uh, the interim end of the bear market that was started by interest rate hikes in 2022. You can see gold up 19, MicroStrategy up 59, Bitto up 39, and GBTC up 123%. So David, are you ready to like bet the ranch on Bitcoin after after, after our discussion? <laughs> <laughs> I, I still don't understand it, but I'm just <laughs> gonna trade the chart. <laughs>